What's up, chatbot builders? I want to go over real quick Zuckerberg's recent post about Meta's quarterly earnings report because there was one particular paragraph in here that as a builder, I was kind of like, oh, hey, this, this is something that I need to pay attention to. So just shared Meta's quarterly earnings report. There's lots to be excited about. Meta AI is on track to be the most used AI assistant in the world by the end of the year. We released the first frontier level open source AI model. We're also seeing good traction, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So a lot of the transcripts of what he says is, you know, basically strong quarter for the business, pleased with progress on numbers. And the first blip here is kind of talking about the advances in AI when it comes to like the algorithm, the recommendation algorithm, which... I don't really care that much about that as a builder. So we can kind of gloss over these first few paragraphs here. And, and even the same thing with the advertisers, right? We're using AI in ways to, you know, make Facebook and Instagram ads applicable to, you know, your target audience a little bit better, which is fun. Then, you know, moving on to some brand new experiences that AI enables. Last quarter, we started broadly rolling out our assistant Meta AI, and then, you know, it talks a little bit about AI Studio that releasing, and these are generative AI functions that you can use inside of Meta platforms, but, but this is more of like a UX experience of the social media platform itself. You know, once again, you know, where, where's, where's the chatbot side of it? Here we go. Let's, let's, let's see, let's get in even... Zoom, super zoom in here, 300% browser. All right, I'm going to read this entire paragraph word for word. Business AIs are the other big piece here. We're still in alpha testing with more and more businesses, and the feedback we're getting is positive so far. Over time, I think that just like every small business has a website, social media presence, and email address, in the future, every small business will also have an AI agent that their customers can interact with. And our goal is to make it easy for every small business, eventually every business, to pull all of their content and catalog into an AI agent that drives sales and saves them money. When working, when this is working at scale, I think that this is going to dramatically accelerate our business messaging revenue. So I know that there was kind of a lot packed into a few sentences here, but basically what Meta and Zuck have said here with this statement is almost along the same lines of what I said a few months ago, which is I believe that every business website will have an AI agent assistant chatbot type of experience in a matter of time. But Meta is kind of pushing this out even further and saying, hey, we think every business should have this because, you know, not everybody has a website. But, but now everybody, you know, for the most part has a social media presence, has an email address, has a Facebook page, or you're running ads as a small business through Facebook or Instagram. And we want to extend the functionality of this social platform and integrate it with an AI agent hosted by us in order to provide some of this functionality, which... This, this is really, really big for us as builders, right? Because what, what have we been doing the past few months, right? We, what is the value proposition of us as chatbot builders, right? And that's, we can build out custom features, cu custom functionality. You know, what, what problem do you have business that you think AI can solve? Let's build it for you specifically. Let's integrate it to wherever you're living and we'll build out this, custom product for you that's branded, that sounds like you, that answers responses like you want it to. And that's great. And 
because we've been living in the chatbot building platforms, right? We can do this relatively quickly, right? These builders and platforms are becoming quite powerful and they're giving us a lot of functionality out of the box. So we can put things together relatively quickly. And with this comes a more affordable cost because it doesn't take us as long, right? We're not developing, you know, a six month whamadine super project here. It's, it's hey, I, I need to hit this API. I need to pull this data in. I need to have a knowledge base that I want to hit. And, and I have this call to action that, you know, I, I want you to try to convert people through chat. So we can put this stuff together relatively quickly, right? And the platforms that we're choosing, you know, whether it's a voice flow or a chatbot builder or a bot press, like part of our jobs at the moment is almost a consulting, right? You're trying to do what? Well, let me think of the best platform in order to provide this service. But what Meta's kind of saying here is, hey, because we own Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, and a large majority of you are trying to build and integrate into our ecosystem, we're just going to give you AI agent builder functionality inside of our platform, which is going to open up a lot of things. And one of the first things that I think this is going to do, the adoption curve for this is going to skyrocket through the roof because you can imagine the amount of messages that are sent between these three platforms on a day-to-day -day basis. If you are making this meta native, more and more people are going to require and demand this functionality. And also there's a good chance that with meta building this, they're gonna make it relatively straightforward and easy for anyone to kind of get started here. So it will be really interesting to see from a skill perspective, how far this platform can go because we might have another lowering of the bar entry point for new people coming in here and slapping AI agents together tied into this ecosystem with pretty powerful functionality. So it's going to be very interesting to see as they roll this out through alpha and beta testing and, and getting more businesses involved and then getting it into the hands of the users to see what this end product ends up looking like. Because where my mind kind of goes is you can imagine a scenario with, okay, maybe are, are the platforms going to start to lose some value if their main, you know, kind of functionality that they're providing right now is the ability to tie into this stuff. What if these integrations no longer really become that big of a deal? Because if I do want to integrate this as a business, I'm just going to build through meta. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of as these slices of the pie get divvied up, who, who is still left standing here and relevant. And I think if I'm a chatbot builder and I'm running this company, this scares me a little bit. And it's not just meta because there's another big boy that I, that I think people should kind of keep their eye on as well. And that's Google, right? And because Google has kind of this trifecta similar to Facebook between Gmail, Google Sheets, and Google Calendars, there are a lot of businesses that just run on this kind of stack here. One of the reasons that I'm enjoying building in Chatbot Builder at the moment is because of the direct integration with Google Sheets. And, and I don't need, you know, for, for businesses that don't have databases and, and fully functioning fleshed out CRMs, I can just start capturing lead info in a Google Sheet and send it to them and, and share it to them very, very quickly. So I'm interested to see if Google also just like Meta kind of puts out in this quarterly report, if Google follows suit and provides an AI agent experience with direct integration to, to their Google suite, which as you can imagine, is wide and, and, and has a lot of people, users on platforms. So what, what you might be thinking, and you know, you know, you might be a little bit fearful as a builder, is it, 
are, are we still going to be relevant? Are we still going to be valuable? Is, is it smart for me to spend all this time learning and building in these platforms and providing these bespoke solutions? And, and I believe the answer is absolutely yes. And there's a few reasons why. And, and number one is, despite this kind of cookie cutter box that Meta deploys or Google or whatnot, it's going to be limited in functionality at a base level, right? Regardless of how powerful it is. So you're always there's always going to be a, an, an and one layer of businesses that need something very specific. And chatbot builders and developers are always going to kind of be needed in order to build out custom products, custom functionality, and, and bespoke solutions for businesses. So I think the high end of the spectrum from a contract perspective is probably not much is probably going to change. And the other main point that I kind of want to drive home here, okay, let's say Meta releases this and it's great and a bunch of businesses want this AI agent functionality. Who are they going to turn to? And the answer is individuals with the skills that understand what is going on, right? You can run any business on the face of the planet can run Facebook ads, but not all of them do. And the ones that do, most of them don't manage the ads. They don't want to sit there and create the copy and check conversions and, and manage and all of this stuff. So I actually am bullish on this because there's going to be a new service layer that emerges that businesses are going to need. They're going to need help installing this and making sure that it is online and making sure that it is acting appropriately. And, and where else are they going to turn to other than people that are building bots that understand prompting and this ecosystem and, you know, can review transcripts and stuff like that. This chatbot building layout that we find ourselves, it's a skill. We are getting reps in the gym building this skill. And Zuckerberg's post only affirms, in my mind, that this is the right place to plant a flag and say that, hey, no matter what happens platform-wise, over the next few years, I'm not going to be lost and curious what I should be doing right now. Because more and more businesses are going to adopt generative AI and large language model use into their workflows. And they're going to need people to build, to manage, and to do a host of other things in order to help their business move the needle. And that is valuable. And the supply and demand of this, seeing Meta put this out, means that we're there's a good chance that we're gonna have a huge demand coming up in the next several months as this stuff comes online. And we are the supply. So keep building, keep gaining these skills, keep building these relationships with companies and providing value on a day-to-day -day basis. And we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what platforms we end up in. We'll see what the best use case is. This could be terrible. This could come out and just give almost no functionality. And then they're still looking at, you know, to the builders. We don't know. But anyways, I think that this is huge. This isn't going anywhere. And the big boys are potentially starting to infringe on some of the building platforms, territory, and turf. And I'll be interested to see what their response and reaction is and where they kind of push chips into the center of the table. And if they let Meta just own kind of their own environment because it becomes too cumbersome and it's not worth the integration lift and, and a host of other things, we'll have to see, right? But like always, the, the times they are a changing. Like if you are hoping to get into this business and, and be like a one trick pony and, you know, let, let me just only stay and, and put blinders on 
and only build in this one particular application or layer, I don't know if that's the greatest idea on the face of the planet. We might have to be nimble. And that's true of technology, right? If you're building in technology, regardless of what your business is, things are changing all of the time. But anyways, I am curious to hear what you guys think of this announcement and Meta potentially getting into the AI agent creation game and how that's going to affect your, your bottom line and your business. But anyways, either way, happy building out there. Talk to you guys soon.